one of the things that Manival uh, recommended as part of their recommendations back in, 20, in December 2019 was that we needed to conduct strategic analysis and also uh, produce a typologies report. So whilst we were doing this project, which took a number of months, we identified that uh, money laundering was the main uh, criminal conduct that was being re uh, reported in Gibraltar. The strategic analysis is having a, a more sort of global picture of the data that's contained in there. So we look at the, um, you know, if there's any new trends, any new patterns or any new typologies, as we call them, to see whether there is any, um, you know, any links with money laundering, terrorist financing and, and proliferation financing. And then this analysis is what uh, establishes the aims and the goals for the FIU, but more broadly, uh, it, it, it steers the finance centre into uh, tackling anti-money laundering and or, or money laundering and terrorist financing and proliferation financing. You've also highlighted that despite a difficult year with COVID-19, the programme to address the recommendations made by Moneyval has gone ahead. What has this consisted of? So th there's, there's been a, a number of changes. One of them has been um, a restructure of the FIU. So we now have a more permanent uh, body rather than um, you know, on, on them base it on, on secondments as, as in the past. So we had police officers and customs officers that made the bulk of the FIU. We now have a team of civilian financial intelligence officers and also maintaining the, the links with the police and with customs by having them on, on secondments. The idea is that by having these links will retain um, the, the knowledge, the skills, the, the expertise required in a very specialized field. Um, and, and, and this is just one of the recommendations, but there are, like I said, there are quite a few. And the other ones is the, you know, the one that I've just talked about, about strategic analysis and um, uh, typologies. How important is this work, both for Gibraltar and for the wider world? And what are the next steps for the GFIU? It's it's a very important uh, part of, of of our work because every country needs to adopt the Financial Action Task Force recommendations and standards, and therefore having an FIU in in a jurisdiction is crucial. It is the the central authority or the central repository of all the reports that are coming in from the fi the, the finance centre, non financial institutions like uh, real estate agents and high value dealers. The next steps is uh, we've uh, published a a three-year strategic plan. So one of the aims of that strategic plan is to be able to create a public-private partnership. And that means that we will have an enhanced method of actually engaging with the private sector, engaging with, with other competent authorities, all in one body. There are other plans as well in terms of specializing in specific uh, areas like human trafficking, uh, Ill illegal wildlife trade, and we've we've recently worked with the um, uh, Department of the Environment on this. Uh, we're also working on online child sexual uh, abuse and exploitation. So uh, very niche areas of criminality where the financial as aspect has, um, you know, a lot of importance to be able to tackle these organised crime groups and terrorist groups.